Good morning, it's Tuesday. It's early, and my phone doesn't want to stay up. That's crazy. So anyways, it's Tuesday, and I thought before work, I would do something that Chelsea over at um, our urban homestead put ideas in my head, so. <laughs> I thought I would go ahead and try something today. I'm going to can up my own cake mixes. And I actually did something like this over Christmas, um, and then I got the Rona, and the kids didn't get it till afterwards, but I did brownies, and I did cookie mixes, and um, I think I did a soup mix, and then I did fun things, you know, like jelly and jam, and I did my um, queso dip, and um, chocolate and caramel, and all that good stuff, and I put it in a great big crate for my kids to take home for Christmas. So I'm going to make up, <coughs> excuse me, um, six jars all together. I'm only going to show you one of each, but I'm going to do six jars all up. Because if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it up, and then I've got some in stock. I'm going to make a white cake mix over here, and over here I'm going to make a chocolate cake mix, and then I'll pour it in. So what we need is two and a quarter cups which my half cup will only fit down in there, so we'll have to do a half cup at a time. So we need two and a quarter cups of flour. So there's one. Look at that. Looks like a mess. That's why I wore an old shirt today. There's a half. One, one and a half, and two, and then we need a quarter cup in each one. I'm hoping to empty this uh, gallon jug out because it's going to be soon time for the... Um, sun pickles and I don't have any gallon jars so <laughs> we need to get that done so I can make um, sun pickles in the big gallon jar all right and then you need one and a half cups of sugar so there's one There's one. Let's get our half cup over here. Wipe off the bottom. I may have to get out a new container for my sugar, too. Keep getting all these ideas from Chelsea, and I might be going through all my sugar. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got a lot of sugar, so I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> now, I know for those of you that can, you're going to hate what I'm about to do. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And that's just life. All right. And then she says a pinch of salt. So I take it that's a pinch. And then you need three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So not baking soda, make sure it's baking powder. And we're going to do three and a half teaspoons. I got a big one around here somewhere that I filled, but do you think I could find it this morning? Of course not. There's three. We'll do three over here. And we'll do a half. There we go. And a half. All right. Now, to make it into a chocolate cake over here, let me move that out of here. My video talents are not very good here, I tell you. 
Now to make it into a chocolate cake, she said you need two to three tablespoons of chocolate. And she says she reason she does it in a bowl first so she can whisk it together. And then you know how pretty it is, so it can be chocolate cake. I'm gonna do three, because when I like chocolate, I like chocolate. There's a third one right there. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna whisk together my chocolate cake mix. And I'll link in the video below um, what you do to um, when you finally get everything done so that you can actually make the cake mix. I'll do three of each and that way I'll have cake mix for a while. And then I just realized I got a large mouth. And that's not going to work the way I want it to do. I don't want to wear it all so we're going to pour it in this way. I might end up wearing it all anyway. <laughs> Like Chelsea always says, she's a hot mess. Um, I am not the clean cooker. That's something that I am not. So if people look for that with me, <laughs> just ask Jack after cooking with me. He'll tell you different. I get stuff all over the floor. Stuff all over me. Not on everything, of course, but on a lot. Alrighty, so then you're going to take, I have to get a wide mouth, which I don't have one out, I'll have to go get one. And I use, reuse my lids by the way. Um, I don't only use them just for dry canning, I do use them for pressure canning as well. And I've not had any problem with them. Actually, a lot of my reused lids seal better than the brand new ones. So, um, I will label this, actually what I'll do is I'll print out little things that say, exactly what to use to make the cake and I will um, tape it on there and I won't make the pretty little designs I did for my kids over Christmas but just enough basically to tell you what's in here and how to make it so this is our own cake mix and there's the chocolate mm, yummy so I'm gonna make up all six of these and you know it's something great that you could do with the kids you know, if they, um, it's off with summer, have them help you make up a bunch of cakes and get canned away because you don't have to do anything, no oxygen absorber or anything like that. Just put it in there and enjoy it. And then later on in the summer, you know, have the kids make the cake with you. See, always thinking ahead. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a blessed day and be a blessing.